Do you like Withering Blade, Hunter, Aegir Scepter, Stasis, and killing literally everything? I've got the build for you. Let's talk about it. All right, so this build, uh, like I said, does use Aegir Scepter. Uh, I would say that if you really want this build to work as well as possible, you want Aegir Scepter and the Catalyst, uh, the Catalyst making it so uh, you can really just do a bunch of damage. Uh, your other weapons don't really matter. Um, this is a very kind of lower slash mid-tier build. So well, if you do things like raids, you're fine. I wouldn't take this build into GMs or anything like that. Uh, but you really just want to kind of flesh out the build. So if you run out of ammo in the Aegers, I like to have a, a really quickly killing primary. Stochastic variable is absolutely insane. And then tomorrow's answer for taking out things like champions and, and stuff like that. Now I'm going to have uh, gameplay playing throughout the video to kind of showcase what I'm talking about. But this build is absolutely insane. And it all stems from a mod that became available today. Elemental Shards. If you have not visited the Helm and the uh, Wayward Compass, pick this up. Go there and pick this up. Uh, it makes it so that stasis shards count as stasis elemental wells for you. So if you don't know, there are certain things in the game. So for instance, um, you have uh, the grim harvest aspect for Hunter. Defeating slowed or frozen combatants create stasis shards. And they're the little blue things. Uh, and if you pick them up, they give you certain buffs and that sort of stuff depending on your mods. Well, with the elemental shards mod, it makes it so they also count as elemental wells, meaning you can stack a ton of different effects here. Uh, for instance, Font of Might. Picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass, subclass energy type grants a temporary boost to weapon damage. So, and that stacks with everything, by the way. Um, so if you are stasis and you pick up a stasis shard that counts as a stasis well, you now do, I think, 10% more damage. Uh, you can also stack something like Font of Wisdom. Picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type grants you a significant increase to your intellect, improving the recharge rate of your super. Uh, so you pick up a shard, counts as a well, gives you more intellect, gives you more super, which means you can use your Aegir Scepter powerful burst more often. So uh, those are the three core mods of this, and you really are building around being able to use your melee as much as possible and using your Aegir Scepter as much as possible. And as you are freezing more people and shattering them with Grim Harvest, you know, just killing frozen enemies, uh, you get more shards, boosting your weapon damage, um, really giving you more intellect, giving you more super, and that sort of thing. I also would recommend having uh, high energy fire and taking charge. Um, Font of Might does stack with high energy fire. You're using a catalyst weapon, so you're going to be making tons of orbs of light, and you'll be even make you'll be making even more orbs of light um, because of the fragments. I recommend that you run. Uh, so I recommend that you run Whisper of Fissures. Increase the damage and size of the, uh, the stasis shatters. So if you freeze an enemy with you know your melee or with Aegir's uh, scepter, uh, they blow up more. Huge. Uh, Whisper of Conduction makes it so that stasis shards and thus stasis wells will track to your position. This is absolutely crucial for making sure that the flow of the fight is just continually going. Increases the uh, melee energy gained from picking up stasis shards. This is the Whisper of Hunger. This means, as you can see in the gameplay, you throw one shuriken, you kill a ton of enemies, the shards all come to you, you have your melee back. As long as you kill like three or four enemies, you get your melee back meaning you can have endless melee, you are endlessly boosting the damage of your uh, of your weapon, and you are constantly getting your super back because you are getting those stasis wells. And then finally, Whisper of Bonds, defeating frozen enemies grants your super energy. So, as you can see, lots and lots and lots of synergy. Aegir Scepter with your Withering Blade melee abilities, creating tons of orbs of light, uh, you also want to have um, on your arms, you also want to have Thermoclastic Blooming. So every time you get a kill with your Stasis Shurikens, you create a an Orb of Light as well, helping your teammates. Um, it's absurd. This build is absurd. You are constantly just like getting tons of weapon damage because of things like High Energy Fire, because of Font of Might, because you are constantly having your super up and you're getting that 80% boost to damage. Uh, when you are using the Aegir Scepter shot, uh, you always have your melees. The stasis bursts are just very large. They do more damage. This thing just mows 
down enemies. Hi everyone, one second, this is post edit Scarrow. I totally freaking forgot to mention that I'm using Frosties here. They're boots you don't see a lot, but I think they flow really well with this build because you know, I'm the type of player to sprint around everywhere. Uh, I encourage you to do the same and you get your melee and your grenade back a lot. I think they just have a lot of synergy with this build and I couldn't really think of anything else to throw in here. So that's why I'm wearing Frosties. I recommend you do too if you do this build. Past me, I'm sorry for interrupting everyone watching. I'm sorry for forgetting this. Enjoy the video. So that's going to be the entire build. Let me know what you guys think about this. Please give it a shot because it is a lot of fun and it, it really fills the void, in my opinion, that Warmind Cells left. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. If you guys are interested in watching either of the two videos on screen, you can click their respective annotations to be taken to them. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure the nine version of my logo on screen to be subscribed to my awesome best CG videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you in my next video.